hello friends welcome back to desi plaza tv i'm your host khushboo rawley and of course we are over here with mr jax purandala so welcome back mr jax your elder daughter monica purandala uh, she got a full ride an additional merit scholarship uh, in ut dallas and she is in final year of bs computer science honors and also your uh, younger daughter rishika has multiple interests it seems uh, she won an award in copal isd uh for online fiction writing work and uh, she's going to release her book soon sometime this year fiction how do you uh, mentor them how do you like teach them and what would be the advice in general that you would like to give students especially there is uh, my passion right from the childhood uh, ever since i was in high school i always used to teach uh, my uh, you know younger grade uh, mm -hmm. students and that have been continuing uh, since then and always uh, one thing i tell parents is that always spend time with the kids that is very important and what happens is uh, especially the kids they start something and um, they they work on that for 6 months and after that they lose interest yeah focus uh, and they pick something, something else that something else so they they lose the continuity mm -hmm. so so what we need to do is we need to understand the student strengths and make sure that they have uh, enough uh, resources uh, th are, are they getting uh, that is something we need to look into and uh, we need to continue their passion you know th those they started in uh, elementary school making sure that it goes until their high school yes. so there is a concept called if you work on anything for 1000 hours dedicated time then definitely you will you will reach decent uh, level That so awesome. so this is advice for the parents and when it comes to the kids what i say is that you have to be a lifelong student <laughs> so that is a trick you know you have to be a lifelong student and uh, students you should never afraid to fail and uh, you try new things and uh, all won't be successful but you keep trying keep trying and also be kind so these are the three things i advise uh, Uh, for the young students and especially you know we need uh, support from the spouse too mm -hmm. uh, in fact my wife is a motivation for me uh, and mm -hmm. likewise um, uh, you know either husband uh, or wife mm -hmm. should uh, spend time with the kids Which that is, is always true. necessary and many of these situations what is happening is uh, we are busy in our own work mm -hmm. and we don't connect with the students mm -hmm. and we don't understand their needs so understanding their needs and nurturing as you know the parents are the uh, mentors and uh, coach first coach first teachers that is so true that is so true yes kids uh, all they need is love and time and that's the most precious gift that parents can give and they must give it is their responsibility so mr jags you also provide financial advice uh, so would you like to say something to our audience a little tips on how to manage their money more efficiently and uh, in a better way <laughs> essentially uh, when it comes to the uh, the personal finance um, i am not a registered financial advisor however uh, the personal finance has been my passion mm -hmm. uh, especially what i tell people is that um, you know there are several ways in which uh, you can uh, you can do lot of uh, great things in personal finance so for example i can give you one example um, time share recently we bought a time share and uh, what i do is that i do lot of ne negotiation mm -hmm. and especially when you buy time share there lot of things hidden things uh, that we need to consider um, especially when you buy a time share uh, irrespective of your credit score uh, they charge you 20% percent, 20 plus percent uh, interest mm -hmm. and uh, what you can do is that uh, you can just give a best offer if somebody is saying that time share is uh, about $15,000 um you start with $5,000 and say that uh, i don't want to uh, take the loan mm -hmm. um and i just wanted to um mm -hmm. pay in full and try to get a better better deal so similarly i got a better deal so it's all about asking you yeah. never know you might just get it <laughs> yeah yep <laughs> and asking with confidence <laughs> yes that's true in fact uh, what you can do is that there are several things mm -hmm. even if you are ele electricity provider or um the cable provider definitely when you talk to your manager of the company mm -hmm. as opposed to a customer agent mm -hmm. you will get a better deal 
Just to give an example, uh, my electricity, I am paying 2 cents per uh, kilowatt hour. Oh, that's a good rate. <laughs> yep. So, that, that can only be possible if you go to uh, the next level, talk to the right person and get a be better deal. Interesting. So, you need to know whom you are talking to first of all and pay attention to that. <laughs> yes. So, those are definitely some good tips. Uh, thank you so much for sharing uh, on this platform of Desi Plaza TV. Uh, so, friends, he is also involved um, heavily with a concept called four-way wins. So, uh, it's a brilliant concept and uh, there are four main things that uh, he will, we will make him talk about. Family, career, self and community. Uh, so, Mr. Jags, what is this concept about and uh, what ex is the crux and how this helps? all of us, the people in general, to actually in day-to-day -day lives and to be able to manage work and uh, family life in, in a better way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially, yeah, I would like to talk about this. Uh, in fact, you know, whenever I go to any meetings or meet with the friends, uh, this is something I always talk to them. Mm -hmm. And um, probably, you know, whenever I, I see that, uh, see about four-way win, mm -hmm. definitely they will ask questions about, you know, how we can achieve these four-way wins. And uh, as uh, myself, you know, I'm, I don't consider myself as a master of this. I'm still a student of uh, four-way wins. As you said and earlier, I'm a student lifelong. <laughs> <laughs> so interestingly, what it says is that uh, in olden days, uh, you remember uh, the saints, if you want to achieve something, you have to sacrifice certain things. That is okay? true. So mm. in, in 21st century, that is not true. It's not that is true? not. It's not true. Okay. You know, you can win in all four areas. Mm -hmm. So the concept here is that. So that's what we all want to achieve, right? Yes. But it's a struggle. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. But what we can make it, uh, how we can make it happen is, mm -hmm. let's say if you have a bright spot. You know, you are, you have wonderful family, uh, and kids, and uh, mm -hmm. you have happy family, everything, and it will have a positive effects in other domains, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So that means that the the bright spots from one domain we can apply in other areas. Interesting. But what does that exactly mean? It also depends on like what they really want to achieve. I mean, uh, like uh, family, career, self and community, but then in career, what do they really want, right? So it has to really help out in a way. So the way basically the concept really is... really one domain help out in another domain? So the concept here is that uh, in, a, in a company when you work, you know, there is mm -hmm. the stakeholders, right? In a company, you have a stakeholder, your manager, your manager's manager, they're all your stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And similarly, at home also, you have stakeholders, uh, why a spouse and uh, kids, you know, they have certain expectations. Mm -hmm. The way you work, uh, the way you work and also meets uh, stakeholders' expectations, we have to meet the same thing in other domains too, especially uh, my spouse, you know, she has certain uh, things I need mm -hmm. to meet their uh, requirement that right yeah. so all that is possible so th that way if I am having some bright spots in one area other areas can be successful uh, very interesting but then uh, it is true too. like you know uh, may maybe what you're trying to say is that if let's say one area is good enough you might not need to spend much time and you can use that time in other areas so that you can achieve better results there no, like that. well, uh, the other way around. So other basically around. what we are saying here is mm -hmm. that, you know, if you are successful in one area mm -hmm. and you can be successful in other areas too. Interesting. So it's a trickling effect. It's so trickling if effect. <laughs> yeah. If you are successful in one, just have the confidence and keep going and you will be successful eventually. So just be happy and have the confidence, I guess. Yes, <laughs> that's true. But, uh, but what, how would you explain this to kids? I mean, it's a very heavy concept in a way, but it would help them because everybody struggles with managing the time. Uh, even they have too much homework on their plate and then so many exams upcoming. And these days they are struggling with a lot of other, op other classes, you know, non-academic stuff as well. So uh, how would you, what would you suggest them? So, especially this concept is not for uh, the school students, okay. uh, so it's more of, uh, you know, for the adults, mm -hmm. more of adults. Earlier, we have something called work-life balance. Mm -hmm. In that work-life balance, what we used to say is that if you want to be successful in uh, work, you have to sacrifice something, uh, mm -hmm. right? But in the four-way win concept, what we are saying is that we are making sure that you are allocating a certain time for each domain. 
each okay so each allocating some time on daily basis on each domain each domain okay. and also you're not leaving any do, uh, do, uh, domain aside mm -hmm. aside so this makes you a complete person which is true which is so well said i mean you will definitely feel more accomplished and uh, and you're happy you feel more satisfied and you more satisfied you feel more happy but yes so the trick is to basically give time and manage time in such a right way that you're actually giving time to all your four priorities uh, to make a wholesome uh, experience of your life so th that's truly amazing but uh, is there a step by step process uh, if somebody is new to this concept what should they do initially to be able to later on actually inculcate this process in their life day to day life so th there's a structured process here mm -hmm. um, for each domain we need to identify who are all your stakeholders mm -hmm. um, uh, just like where uh, we have at work we have uh, our managers manager manager is mm -hmm. there similarly at home you have kids and uh, children and similarly uh, the self also you need to take care of your health and um, yes. um, spiritual and emotional health all this you need to manage right so now how are we doing on this we need to rank ourselves mm -hmm. you know yes. which area we are weak which area we are weak and from that concept from the stakeholder analysis what we can do is that okay so the weakest area uh, we need to look at and what are the opportunities in that weakest area if you are not able to spend a lot of time with your family and kids is it something we can uh, improve upon improve mm -hmm. upon and you are already successful in your career and see what uh, the bright spots you can apply in this area so you are taking the bright spots from one area and applying here and you are doing little bit of experiment experimentation and end of the day um, you are tweaking the environment so for example i can give you an example if you want to reduce uh, shu uh, sugar intake uh, uh, in the mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. sodas and other things mm -hmm. the concept here is that you you eliminate certain things you, you don't get soda in the home yeah okay I mean, that's what we do like and you keep no uh, fruits on on the table and uh, people uh, pick uh, the fruits so you are tweaking the environment and see what they expect you know what your uh, daughter and children expect from you and spend time with them that makes a lot of difference that is uh, true and so well said i mean um, yes i mean you need to basically intro keep on introspecting your four areas and see which is stronger which is weaker and then replan every next time to focus more on weaker kind of thing and so that you can actually have a wholesome experience because uh having a super success in one field sometimes makes person empty somewhere inside so um instead of that you know it's a good concept that you know have a wholesome experience and be successful in a total manner so but yeah it the the way you explained it involves constant introspection and knowing uh where are you strong and where are you weak and then thinking through it and then planning accordingly so uh, it might involve like little bit of mentoring initially to, to the people who are new to this concept definitely that definitely <laughs> some mentoring is required and also you know i have some worksheets in fact i have a presentation and i can share that uh, uh, stakeholder analysis uh, uh, worksheet that we can uh, people can work on and then uh, they can uh, rate you know just like the annual reviews in the companies we have and you know same thing we need to do in all areas and one of the example i can tell you is that uh, i was not until recently um, uh, until 2010 uh, i was not focusing on health okay okay so i found that that is a weakest area then what i realized is that there is something i can do there okay so i started uh, taking certain uh, uh, you know goals mm -hmm. every year and especially this year i am doing uh, every day 5000 steps with all that i am not going to sleep <laughs> so true. so there are certain things we can do and also when when it comes to your uh, spiritual health and also uh, one more example i can give you is that especially cell phone radiation is going to be very uh, dangerous going forward mm -hmm. so the living cell phone in the living room not in the bedroom you know it, these are the certain small adjustments we can do to make it a difference uh which is so true with so many things and technology all around us we got to be a little more careful uh yeah so first of all you need to know how things impact and then work on it 
and then work in the right manner and put in effort. So, like as you said, you knew like health was the area where you wanted to put more focus, but then you have to put that effort of actually taking that many steps every day. So, yes, a so little bit of that planning and then your effort behind that planning and then I guess that would achieve wonders. So, is there some kind of like a structured uh, uh, like a training on these four winds that uh, you might uh, provide or suggest? Yeah, what I can do is that I can share the worksheet uh, that uh, I normally use and um, I can share with the viewers. That would be super awesome for all the listeners of they see Plaza TV actually. Yeah, in fact, so you know, I, we can. What we can do is that when this video is posted on YouTube, mm -hmm. I can add the uh, couple yeah. of images. That that would be really cool. That'd be really cool. I, I guess any such good thing which helps everybody in general, it's uh, definitely good to be shared. And uh, thank you so much for uh, actually coming up with this concept and um, actually empowering the community because ultimately we all uh, need to balance. Uh, our you know work life and all in all these four areas mm -hmm. so regarding your family yourself because you need to be confident um, amongst yourself uh, also I mean that's the first thing and only then you can take care of everything else so yeah in fact you know it's not something I came up with uh, just a correction yeah. it is something uh, somebody is already uh, started mm -hmm. Steve Fedman mm -hmm. and uh, he is part of this uh, the leadership program total leadership okay. so it's a concept is total leadership program and in fact, you know, I learned from that concept. I'm trying to practice and uh, preach others. That is super awesome. And uh, definitely this concept um, uh, is, uh, is really helpful. And no one, uh, I guess it really gave, helped you. And uh, it's really good thing that you want to help others uh, because it definitely uh, was useful for you. Thank you so much for sharing all that information with us and our listeners. Uh, thank you for giving us your time. And uh, thank you all the audience uh, uh, for watching Desi Plaza TV. I'm your host, Kushpur Rawley, signing off. Thanks. Thank you.